subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to make ourselves a miner. Um, but before we do that, I was out and about minding my own business, gathering stuff, doing my thing. Got attacked by Alpha, and so I killed all of them, and I figured, well, since they're all dead, I'll go raid their base. So I went and raided their base and got stuff, and then I was out a little bit later on in the afternoon doing my own thing, and I got attacked by Beta. So... Or Bravo, I'm sorry. Uh, so I went out and took uh, Bravo out and then took all their stuff and upgraded my bow. Here is the footage from both of those attacks. Okay, and also, uh, I think I actually finally figured out uh, the whole Alpha Bravo Charlie thing. I don't think that's a Cold Games thing, or maybe it is. I don't know, but um, Alpha is the small hunter that it just has a really small shack and doesn't have a workbench. Bravo is the medium-sized hunter that has a little bit larger shack and does have a workbench and has been given us complimentary upgrades with their power and mass every time we've raided them. And then, of course, Charlie's the big one. And I think maybe there could even be a delta to it uh, from what I've heard, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so if you guys have told me that in the comments um, much sooner than this, just remember I am pre-recording many of these episodes and I have not seen that comment yet. Uh, I am quite literally uh, almost a month now ahead of you guys. That's how much I'm enjoying playing this game. Uh, that being said, still leave the comments anyways, because um, you can I can still learn new things from you guys, and I, I, I very much want to hear from you. Okay, so anyway, our goal for today is that we want to make ourselves our first of probably several mining drills. Um, and so the rope might be a thing. Did I turn this off? I did. Yeah, I was running that for a little bit, but we only need 120 mass to make one of these. Uh, so we might need to go do some kitty hunting. Yes, we are definitely going to need to go do some kitty hunting. Because uh, I can only make one rope. And how many, I think it said it needed three, right? So let's take a look again. Mining drill requires three rope. Guess what, guys? We are going... Oh, shit. Okay, they're pissed. All right, let's deal with these yahoos. They're coming from this side here. This is Alpha that attacks on this side. They seem to be the ones to attack me the most, too. All right. Did that actually not hit him? That hit him. Yeah, I don't think it did. Because, uh... Uh, because I didn't hear the little... sound, you know, that they make. Is it just him? Let's get his giblets. Uh... Wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, we killed him over here. That's right. Okay, we'll take that. 
Looks like that's... Oh, no. There's one right there. He's bugged. This isn't the first time these guys have gotten caught on this tree. Oh, nice. Shotgun shells. Is that a Piggly Wiggly? Yes, it is. All right, we'll take him, too. Get a little bit of fat and some pork chops and stuff. Now, uh, if we make ourselves a frying pan, I think we can make a bacon and eggs, but that'll happen at some point. It just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, look at that. Three pieces of fat. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I think we have stopped Alpha's attack. And uh, it was just the one dude. Let's grab this stuff. And let's inspect our walls here. He also gave us a free arrow. Um, I'm not even seeing any cracks, so I'm sure there's a little bit of damage, but probably not enough to worry about right now. Okay. Let's head on down. Uh, we might be getting a visit from Bravo, too. They're the ones that go down there and then derp out for a while. Uh, but I'm not seeing them down there, so I'm not worried about that right now. Oh, uh, by the way, I put these little shield things on the corner, and I think I'm going to actually take them all the way up to the top. Just because I think that sticks out a little too far without support. The game doesn't care, but it's more of just of an aesthetic thing. So that's kind of on the to-do list. Not going to do that uh, today, though. Let's go over here and wash our hands. Having all of these canteens in here has actually worked out quite well. Um, let's just cook this pork chop up and throw the fat in there right now. Weapons parts go in here. That can go in there. This can go in here for now. We're going to have to, like I said, go out and uh, do some mountain lion hunting, which we is always thrilling to do. Dangerous as all get out. At some point, I'm going to try my hand at a legitimate moose hunt, too. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's on, on the to-do list as well. <laughs> Uh, okay. <coughs> Gazoon take. Excuse me. All right. So for mountain lion hunting, we want uh, we want rifle rifle rounds. Hey, wait a minute. What happened to all my rifle rounds? Have I already used them up? Oh my goodness. I think I did. Crap. Um. Yeah, we probably did. All right. So let's grab this and this. Um. And let's make ourselves, that gives us a full weapon, and then we'll just make, yeah, we'll just gonna, we're gonna turn all that into the rifle rounds, because I use them a lot. It's probably my favorite weapon uh, in the game, is the lever action rifle. All right, let's eat this pork chop, that should get us nice and topped off. And um, I'm, I'm kind of hanging on to the strawberries, because we need that we can use them to make the jam and stuff. So let's grab a couple of those and eat them. And that should get us pretty doggone close, I'd say. Yep, it does. All right, let's drink another water. And that should get us topped off on hydration or close enough. I'm going to have to make another water run here pretty soon. And yeah, I think, uh, I think we're good to go. I'll have to go do some cougar hunting. So... I feel like I'm forgetting something. Here, let's um, let's top these off. At one point, I had o over two full stacks of wood. It's just nice to have have a little surplus, you know. Um, while we're away, let's just make sure the Jenny keeps cranking. Uh, we do have the solar panel up there too, but we want the generator to keep that power going, man. Keep that power going. All right, let's load this up. We do have a spawn on there, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, we are up to 84 max health and 83 stamina, so it's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. All right, let's go see if we can find ourselves. A, um, we need a minimum of six more sinew in order to make that first miner. So let's go find ourselves a mountain lion. Okay, we got a level two right there. So let's go ahead and... Get a nice solid headshot, and I might want to actually get the right gun out there, OG. Wow. 
we are fortunate. We didn't get broken leg, we didn't get bled, but we did lose some health. Yeah, I kind of derped out on the on the gun there, but whatever. We survived it. Okay, we got four pieces, so that means we're going to have to hit another one. I've gotten up to six off of a one lion before, but usually they give around five-ish. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my brain there. <laughs> it's kind of a dangerous mistake to make, huh? Let's dispatch this bear. I think I see a mountain lion way up there. Yeah, let's go get him. He was a level three, so I wasn't going to... I can easily kill ones and even twos with a single shot if I get a good headshot first. But I probably could do a three, but I didn't want to chance it, especially with my health not all the way up. All right, so that gives us another five sinews. And we got some meat and fat and all that to boot. Uh, let's see here. Here's a crate. Another crate down there. There's a deer. Maybe we could see if we can pop that deer on the way home. Okay, just stop right there, buddy. There we go. Is this iron? I really need iron. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. No, it's potassium. Damn it. <laughs> Just when you think you have it figured out, right? level is this wolf? He's level three. All right, let's um, soften him up. We did upgrade our bow, so we probably can two-shot a level one wolf now with our bow, but a level three is probably a bit much for that. Okay, let's start working our way back to the base. And uh, when we get back, we're going to make that mining drill. Okay, home sweet home. Let's see here. We got a bunch of meat. So let's get that in the fridge. And I'll cook that up later. Get that going in there. Uh, grubs and leaves uh, go in there. And biofuel goes in there. Blueberries go in here. Circuit boards, scrap metal boards, wood, 
how it goes in there. Speaking of which, let's just top these guys off real quick. We're almost to a hundred of the uh, uh, of the of the cloth, which is cool. I haven't uh, I have yet to get a, a full stack of that stuff. We have over a full stack of nails now. Always a good thing. Put those down there. And a couple of ores. Put those in there and get them going. Okay, so we have pretty much full power here. That's really good. Um, Alright, I'm going to put this in here. And how are we doing nutrition-wise? We could stand to eat a little something. Um, so let's grab two of these. And what do I have a lot of? Maybe a couple of apples. And we'll drink a water. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that gets us up in good condition. All right, so what do we need to make a miner, mining drill? Uh, we're going to need three rope. So we need to make two more of these. One, two. And now we're going to need to make three or two electronics. It's two electronics. Okay, so we'll make those over here. Uh, we need copper for that, too. All right, so there's the two electronics being made up. These can go back in here. Um... Let's put the other sinew right there, I guess. Place for everything, everything in its place. And yeah, so we're just waiting on these two circuit boards, and then we should be able to make the miner. Okay, let's do it. One mining drill coming up. Oh, except for we need boards and... Oh, shoot, I gotta make some boards. All right, let me make some boards real quick. All right, while we're waiting for the, <clears throat> the boards, let's run up to the garden here. And looks like we have some plants ready to pick, so let's do that. Now, you're not quite ready. You're ready. Carrots are ready, but it uh, looks like nothing else is. Okay. So, uh, let's fertilize you and... You should be getting some water from the rain. Yeah, see, this one's fully watered. And almost ready to go. And this one has a ways to go yet. So, yeah, so far I've been, you know, fortunate enough to not have to... Yeah, that thing was cranking for a while, wasn't it? Um, to not have to really make seeds. I, I usually find as many as I need, but... Um, it's the tomatoes in particular that I'm really trying to, you know, save up because they, uh, we can make that potato, uh, tomato soup. Uh, do I need to eat this? Yeah, let's eat it now. I decided to cook up some, some more of this meat while I was waiting as well. Okay, so that's looking good. We'll put those in there, put these in there, and this back in here too. Okay, uh, we should have enough now to do what we need to do. Oh no! How do we run out of mass? Um, probably from me making something. All right. Well, we don't. We're only. Whoops. We're only four shy. <clears throat> so let's just run that until we get to 120. Okay, turn that off. Now can we make the miner? Yes. Finally, goodness gracious. Okay. Let's put those in here. I'm going to actually take, I'm going to split this in half and make a whole bunch more boards because we need them. All right, that can go in there. Yeah. 
excellent. Okay. So I was planning on, uh, or I was thinking about, I should say, having this do water for us, but I don't think we need to because the can whole canteen thing is working out pretty nicely. So let's put the first miner here and um, turn it on. It uses a half thing of power. And then I think this little meter here has to... It indicates, you know, it drilling down and it has to get all the way filled up before it gets down to, I guess, the substrate or the bedrock or whatever where the ore is. And then once that happens, uh, then we can tell it. Yeah, see, it's just starting to fill up there. Uh, we can tell it what ore we want it to start extracting, which will probably almost certainly be iron. Since that's what I'm always running out of. And we might, you know, later on, we might make more than just one of these two, but we're going to start, of course, with that one. Um, I want to get, I think the next thing on our list of, of equipment is going to be the solar panels. So I'm probably going to grind out another three of those so we have a total of four. And then that's, I think, really going to help, you know, boost our power, at least on, you know, sunny days. Okay, cool. Well, um, what should we do now? Pretty sure... It's not time to end this episode quite yet. I'm just trying to see if Huey, Louie, and Dumb Shit are down here. They're not. So Bravo has not retaliated yet. But that means they could very well come tonight. We got some stuff over there. We might as well grab it. Yeah, most likely they'll come tonight. Wouldn't be surprised if they do anyways. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go out and just do a little bit more looting for the rest of this episode. We might as well, right? We might as well. So I'm going to keep making these boards while we're out and about. And maybe we can find a lock to create. Uh, so let's make sure that our fires are topped off. And we'll grab fat out of you guys. Make sure our Jenny is topped off. And I'm just going to let the base build up its free mass first and then... We'll figure something else out after that's done. I think this is... Yeah, this is what's making all the clunking noise. Interesting. Okay. So let's just make sure that... Yeah, we have 1.1 in and 0.65 out. Because that's the drill and this thing. Uh, I'm not running this right now. I don't think we need to at the moment. So let's put this in here and put this down here. And... I do need to make another run with these, but that's that's an off-camera thing. And the, the one downside to making the runs to get the water is that's all I can do, because I don't have room for anything else. Let's just take one of these for the road and an apple. And we should be good. Okay. Head on, head on out. So even if Bravo does attack us tonight, they're probably going to do their derpy derp thing. So honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I am not too worried about it. We're going to head over to the Birchwood Forest. I seem to have pretty good luck finding locked crates in that area. Plus, there's usually a lot of crates in general in that area. So let's head over there and see what kind of goodies we might be able to find. We will, of course, hit the the grub trees along the way. Never pass up, I never pass up a grub tree unless I can't get to it or I have something more pressing going on. But it's part of the part of the routine hitting those things, even if I'm not logging otherwise. Okay, we got a building crate here. Nice little pile of nails there. We should try our bow out on a level one wolf and see how much better it is now with that twenty percent additional damage upgrade. Next thing we'll upgrade, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll bet you that's Bravo. 
Let's since we're still pretty close. Eh, maybe not. We're close enough to go back and see what the hell's going on. That might be Charlie, actually. Yeah, I think that might be Charlie. We gotta watch out for this wolf though. Okay, I thought I might have heard a dude over here. No? Okay. I don't think that would be Bravo, but I guess it could have been. He could have come up this way. He left us an arrow, or is there any... Yeah, that's pretty banged up. We might want to give that a little bit of TLC. If I can just barely see the cracks... I don't, I'm not usually too worried about it, but if there's significant cracks, then it needs some attention. Let's grab our nails and our hammer. And since we're back here already, let's just throw this stuff away. Or not away, put it away, not throw it away. Don't want to throw it away, man. Uh, no, we need the nails, put the grub in here. Uh, we might as well put the boards in there. Okay, let's go hit that wall. I haven't been, you know, anywhere near Charlie for a very long time. Um, but that doesn't mean he still won't attack us. Alright, let's check everything else while we're here. Yep, this is all looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, that needs a little attention. Okay. Well, shoot, it is dark. It's O Dark 30. I want to look and see if the boys are over here. I mean, I can usually see them, especially at nighttime, because you can see their blue glow stick. But they're not. Okay. Got a chicken there. All right, guys. Well, um, I think this is probably a good, good enough place to wrap up the episode. It might be a little bit shorter than normal, but sometimes that happens. And so I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, my plan is just to grind, and then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to do some grinding. And after I'm done with that grinding, then I'm going to do, you know what, some more grinding. <laughs> and not sure exactly when I'll bring you back, uh, but of course it will happen at some point in time. Um, you know, the further along I get, um, it, it kind of, I think there's going to be more gaps in between episodes in terms of days going by in the game just because you know it's still it's still you know 80 percent grinding right and uh, i can only show you guys so much of that before it gets boring so uh we'll figure that out uh, it is august right now so it uh, we might be into september before i see you guys again but we'll see how things go all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye